What's happening guys? This is Hyper Paradox and welcome back to Let's Play Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. We are here at Oho Oasis and we have our new hand powers which we are going to use to activate these two objects in order to create a bridge to the pipe. Uh, things are going pretty well for me today. I'm excited. But anyway, here we are in Oho Ocean. Tips for no novice divers. You can swim by doing solo jumps on the ocean floor, but if you tap the buttons quickly to float higher and higher in the water, when two people swim together, they can move much faster through the water. Alright, so here we are in the ocean, and we're going to have to take a little detour in the ocean before we can, uh, proceed and find our way off this oasis. And whoa, there is something that dropped on us. And we will start our undersea exploration with a new enemy. These are Goom Divers. As you can probably tell, Goom Divers are Goombas with Diver Helmets. Uh, they're not too tough, though. They really... They'll either ram into you like that, or they'll float above you and drop on top. However, when they float above you, they will be in the air. So, um... Keep that in mind. Oh dear. There we go. Alright, they don't have much HP, though, so they're not really that strong. Like so. And two Super Mushrooms, not bad. Now, oh, unfortunately I accidentally ran into those spikes. But, uh, I'm gonna cut the video right here because there are quite a few enemies, so I'll see you guys in just a bit. Alright, I'm back. Man, there were a lot of enemies in that area. But, uh, they are all gone now, so... Uh, in the, the areas with spikes, you'll want to hit the A and B buttons repeatedly, so you won't run into them. And down here is where you'll want to go. And we see this weird jellyfish-like device. So let us electrocute it, even though jellyfish are 95% water. It really doesn't make sense on why it would conduct electricity, but this is video game logic, as some LPers would famously say. And we have a brand new enemy. One of them we've already seen, but, well, actually, technically we have seen this enemy before, just not in this game. So, uh, let's take care of the, uh, Goom Diver, and we'll... Tell a little bit about these guys. These guys, in case you haven't noticed, they are bloopers. Bloopers, the famous squid enemies. Um, usually they're very, very annoying in Mario games, but here they aren't too bad. They'll float and drop on you, and you have to hit them with your hammer. Uh, they do have quite a bit of HP, though. I think they have around uh, 50 or so HP. So it doesn't take long to... Uh, deal with them. But once again, I'm going to cut the video until I get rid of all of the bloopers. So, see you guys in just a second. Okay, I'm apparently forgetful because there is one other new enemy. Well, technically it's not a new enemy, but it's the first time we've seen it in this particular environment. Believe it or not, we actually have pest nuts in Oho Ocean. And they attack exactly the same as they did in Chucklehuck Woods, but they are a lot faster and they have more HP. Not only that, they can also poison you sometimes on contact. Now to save a bit of time, I'm actually going to take this blooper out with a Splash Brothers. So yeah, they're a lot faster this time around. And, yeah, they can sometimes poison you. But another difference is that they are quite vulnerable to Mario's firebrand technique. And when they turn back into beanies, you don't need to worry about them because they'll just float back up to the surface. And I think they have more HP as well. 
And there we go. That is it. And we get a couple of woo beans, which is pretty cool. Um, I'm actually not going to bother with that last blooper. Well, I, okay, this is the wrong way. Okay, maybe I am going to bother with him. But like I said, I'm going to use Brother's Attacks to speed this up. Bloopers are actually quite fast, so more often than not, they will attack you first. Just one good solid Chopper Brothers, and another Knockback Brothers will finish the job. There we go! And I believe that was the last blooper. Yes, it was. So, if we go in here, we'll want to switch to Mario in front and hit this switch. Miraculously, some flames will appear even though we are quite clearly underwater. But you want to light the torches in the same order that was shown. So, the first one, then the fourth one, then the third, then the fifth, and now, finally, the second. There we go. That is it. And that piece of coral will wilt away. And we have more enemies here, so one more time I'm going to cut the video until I finish them off. So, see you guys in just a second. Okay, I'm back. Might as well check the map here, and we can actually see that we are quite close to being out of Oho Ocean. But we will be coming back here at a later point in the game, so don't celebrate too much. Anyway, there's the save album, and there's the pipe. So let's climb back to back out of it. And when we climb to the top of the pipe... Meanwhile, near the border... Hey, we're back in Stardust Fields, and there's Bowser. Oh, hey there, Fawful! And Cacletta, I was wondering where they were, where they were sent. Oh, g great, C Cacletta! Will this guy do? Any, anyone will do now. Hurry, quickly! Oh my! I do not even want to think of the result. But hey, we are back on the eastern side of, Be of the Bean Bean Kingdom. And when we hit that, uh, the gate will lower and... Hey there, Prince Peasley. I have searched high and low for you two. I feared that you'd met a terrible fate. Well, we almost did. Oh, Luigi should be in show business. Seriously. Yes, it is true. The bean stars split into four pieces. They have scattered. It is sad, really. What? You say you'll help me search for the bean star pieces? Of course, I would be most appreciative. But actually, I'd like you two to go to Bean Bean Airport. <laughs> you see, Princess Peach is blessing our fair land with her presence. What? But her voice was stolen. A dignitary of Princess Peach's statue visiting our kingdom is a ve sta stature, not statue. Wow, is a very serious affair, and that is why I would like you two in attendance to greet her royal loveliness. As such, you must head for Bean Bean Airport immediately. Well, by the by, Bean Bean Airport is south of Bean Bean Castle. I must head there myself immediately, so I'll see you there. So, we have received our next destination, Bean Bean Airport. But first, we want to hop in here, because in here we have the sixth green pipe, the East Castle area. Very, very cool. And also, we have new enemies. We also have new enemies here. And let's engage in battle. Okay, two new enemies. Wow. Uh, the first one 
is the Baba. Now, if you have the Fire Hand, you can actually eliminate them almost instantly. However, they like to uh, run into you and explode. And unfortunately, when they do explode, they make you dizzy temporarily. And now for the other enemies. Uh, these guys are Tanoombas. Yes, Goombas with a Tanuki suit. They really aren't that difficult. They have two attacks. They can hop and swipe their tails at you multiple times, or they will transform into one of the brothers and attack the opposite brother they transformed into. So if they attacked Mario, uh, they will. If they transform into Mario, they will go after Luigi. And I might as well hit this uh, action block, even though we can't do anything with that as of now. But yeah, if they transform into Mario, well, I'll actually demonstrate it now. Yes, there are some more of them. If they transform into Mario, they will attack Luigi and vice versa. So uh, let's go and hop on the Tanoombas. Oh dear, Luigi got uh, clobbered there. It's the first time in the project I think one of the brothers has been knocked out. And when they are knocked out, um, the other one will carry him on his back and that will delay your reaction commands. So you'll want to revive them as quickly as possible. And that's what a one-up mushroom is for. So anyway, time to deal with the Tanoombas. So yeah, he hopped at the beginning, which means he's going to go for his tail swipe attack. And sometimes you will stumble if you get hit by that tail swipe. Usually they do it uh, three or four times. I wonder how well the hand powers work against them. Oh, well that one worked well, but they don't take extra damage from it. Okay, see, he transformed into Luigi, now he's going after Mario. So yeah, that's basically the Tanoo those are basically the Tanoombas. Now, one last thing I want to do is I want to, uh, get this, uh, Chuckle Bean. Because that will make that bean number 25. Now we are finally ready to go. Oh! Alright, but one more battle with Sharpies couldn't hurt. I believe Sharpies are vulnerable to, a uh, fire attack. Sadly, you don't get much experience points from beating them. Okay, but here we actually have a Thunder Orb. But first I have to deal with this, uh, Lackapy in just a second. Don't worry, he's not going to be much of a challenge at all. Because we can deal with Sharpies with single hammer strikes. Even counterattacks will knock them out at this stage. See? At that stage. Alright, now we have an electric orb that we need to activate, which will bring down this gate that leads us to a pathway. And, uh, this is a bit of a winding pathway, but trust me, it is in your very best interest to go along this pathway. Because we have something pretty cool at the end. We have a cave with a save album. And on the other side... Hey, it's Sledge and Mallet! We haven't seen these guys in a while. Whoa! I was wondering who that might be. It's the good old Mario Brothers! How have you guys been doing? We moved out this way recently. This new place is bigger than the old one, which makes it easier for us to do our work, which is good. Say, are those hammers we made for you striking mighty blows? Yeah, you could say that. Well, how about we reforge them and power them up for you? What do you say? It's free. So, yeah, let's reforge our... Let's have them reforge our hammers. Uh, you will need to do this. This is required, but I'm just getting it out of the way for now, so I want to do it later. 
So our hammers have been upgraded to super hammers. And with the super hammers, we can actually break gray stones. We can break both brown and gray stones. But I think now is a good time to uh, stop the video. So next time on Let's Play Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga, we are going to travel to Bean Bean Airport and hopefully meet up with Princess Peach once again. If you like my videos, be sure to rate, comment, or subscribe below. For now, this is Hyper Paradox, signing off.